Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tutorial using a bunch of new products, including a new palette. This is the Becca Volcano Goddess palette. And I'm also gonna be using one of these eyeliners and I have a new foundation. This one is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation and just a few other things that I'm gonna be showing you and trying on for the very first time myself. So if you're interested in these products or if you're interested in seeing how I'm gonna use them today, go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna start off with my eyes. So this is the way that the palette looks and it is really pretty from the outside. It feels a little, just a little bit like, like, like kind of plasticky though I don't know I don't know what to think about the packaging yet um, but it does have a really big mirror of course the most interesting side is right over here this row and it has like this pretty blue one I think I'm gonna use that one today most of them are like very neutral tones and cool tones at that I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm gonna set my concealer with this big fluffy brush okay so that applied pretty smoothly um, let me see. I'm gonna use the color granite, which is this cool tone brown. This one right here it is a very cool tone gray, grayish brown, and the same with the same fluffy brush and apply it right here in the transition area. Wow, that show up pretty easily. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna even look like anything because it's a very, very light color, but it looks exactly like it does in the pan. It's also blending out easily with this brush. By the way, this is the JH30. Yeah, that was easy. It was not hard to blend at all. And I'm gonna use, mm, there's not a deeper shade for like the crease area or anything. So I'm just gonna use the same color. I'm just gonna use a different brush with it so that way I can concentrate in a one area. And I'm gonna use that same shade right here in the crease. So it didn't make like a huge, huge difference, but just a little bit is enough. Oh, you know what I forgot to apply? I was gonna add my lip scrub. I'm gonna use the lip scrub first. I have a whole video on these products. This one is the Too Faced Peach Lip Scrub. And this is the lip scrub right here in case you haven't seen it yet. I'm just gonna grab a little bit with my finger. And I'm gonna remove it. And I'm gonna apply on top of that the lip balm from the same line. Except this one is just a little creamy lip balm. And I'm just gonna leave that on until I'm gonna put my lipstick on. Okay, now going back to the eyes. So now I'm thinking, should I do like a cut crease? Should I do just like a regular eyelid color? You know, no cut crease, no halo or anything like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do kind of like a dark look, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a dark shimmer look, shimmery look. But I'm not gonna do a cut crease and I'm not gonna do a halo eye or anything like that with concealer or anything. All I'm gonna do is apply these two shades right here. I'm gonna start off with this one and I'm gonna apply this on the inner corner of my eye. That does feel really soft and it is showing up, but I don't feel like it's showing up that much. I feel like I need a, to spray it just to see if it'll look a lot better. Cause you can see it, it's there, it's just, it's not like that wet type of glitter or shimmer. It's more like a regular powdery shimmer. So let me just apply this on top. Okay, yeah, that's much better. I don't know how this look is gonna turn out, but we'll see. So now, let me see. Yeah, like that is a lot creamier. Much better with the spray. It really does look like a metallic shade. Without it, it just looks, you see how neater and like really clean that looks and I'm getting less fallout. You do get fallout though, there's a lot right there. But it looks a lot better with when you spray it. It's like I didn't even need to create a cut crease with concealer. It already looks pretty clean on the line. I'm gonna do it on this side just because I want it to look pretty even. All right, so now for the blue one. I just wanna try it because I want, you know, I'm pretty sure this, this would be a color I would wanna see, you know? I'm not gonna spray it. The brush is a little bit wet from the other shade, but I'm not gonna spray it. I'm gonna apply it on this side. Okay, so I'm not getting anything. I mean, I'm getting a little bit out here. I got a nice shade where it's like already a little wet, but where it's not, I'm not getting anything. I don't know if you can see that right there. Okay, let me show you on this side. Yeah, you see the blue's not really showing up. It's like kind of there and it's just kind of like big chunky glitters. So I'm gonna wet it and see if it makes a difference, which which it should. But at least the gray one actually showed up even though it wasn't sprayed, except it looks just a lot better whenever it is sprayed. So let me see how it'll look with 
wetting it. Okay, now it's showing up. So definitely for the blue one, you have to wet it in order for it to show up. All right, so now I'm seeing the blue that I wanted to see. And I am getting a lot of fallout from the blue. It has like big, big glitter and even just like the blue powder, not the glitter part, but the powder part, it's very, I guess it's very dry because it's not really applying on my eyes unless I wet it. And it kind of looks a little purple underneath. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the gray one in between these two so that way I can blend the two shades together. So uh, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna blend it out with. I think I'm gonna have to go back into the color granite and just apply it a little bit on the crease because now it looks like I have a cut crease because I can't blend out that blue like to make it look smoky on the outside because it doesn't show up. So it needs to be wet and if it's wet, I can't really blend that out. So all I'm gonna do is just take my little brush again and use that same cool tone gray Ooh. No. Okay, so that's not blending out the edge either. I'm gonna try this silver one right there. I don't wanna grab another palette. I'm just gonna try this silver one. It's more of a shimmer gray, not so much like a glitter. And I'm gonna apply this right here on the outer corner just to kind of try to blend out the blue. Okay, so that one is blending out the edge a lot better than the matte one not everybody blends out their eyeshadows with the shimmer shade but at least it's not like looking like an, a line it's actually smoking it out a little bit so now i'm gonna take a little bit of the blue because some of it came off and i'm just gonna apply it on top in the same spot that i already had it okay i think i'm okay with that except look at all this fallout like it does have a lot not only glitter but also like the powder and not so much from the silver one but the blue one a lot the the first silver one not so much from that one but the blue one has a lot of like like it's really really dry so maybe i would recommend a glitter primer to use that one because all i used was concealer but i didn't think this was gonna happen i thought it was gonna be more of like a creamy blue so I'm just gonna take that off. The good thing is, is that I haven't done my foundation or anything. I'm gonna have to wipe that off though with something. Yeah, big time, I'm full of glitter. Okay, so that looks much, much better. Now I'm gonna move on. I'm, I'm gonna do the lower lash line after I'm done with like the rest of my makeup. Okay, and for moisturizer today, I'm gonna use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And this one is for, what? I thought I had chosen the one that was for very dry to combination skin, but I got this one. Combination oily to oily. I didn't choose this one. I knew, I know for sure I got the dr the very dry to dry. So, well, I'm just going to have to use it because that's, that's the only moisturizer that I have right now. And so it's just going to have to work. I've used the very dry to dry moisturizer already. And I knew that that one's good for me. Like it's been years since I've used it, but I have used it before. I know that I didn't pick this one. But maybe I did. Maybe I made a mistake. It doesn't feel bad or anything. It's just that this one is for oily skin. And I guess maybe something like the ingredients and stuff is something different for that type of skin type. Which it's not me at all. I'm like far from being oily. Right, so I'm going to use this one today. This one is the Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray. And I just got this one. Too Faced did send me this one. And they also sent... A hangover RX which I still have one that's open so I don't need to use this one today but I am gonna try this one I've never used it before honestly it looks like a bottle of dry shampoo like it's really big seeing it in pictures I didn't know it was this big but this is the first time that I'm gonna try it and it is a primer and a setting spray so since I don't have any primer on yet I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one see how it works It smells a lot like coconut. It smells exactly the same as the Hangover RX primer. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and kind of just push it in. I guess another way that you could use it is just spray in your beauty blender if you want. And then the foundation that I'm going to use is the Revlon one. This one's called Photo Ready Candid and I got it in the color 150. And I don't think it has an actual name. Creme Brulee, that's what this one is called. Okay, there we go. And it does have this little pump it's tiny though i didn't think it was gonna be this small i forgot i was gonna apply this one maybe i should still apply a little bit yeah i'll go ahead and apply it this one's called i'll just add another primer this one is the revlon color stay prep and protect so since that is revlon i'm gonna use this one too revlon primer it looks like sunscreen but not use this one either but since it's revlon i'm guessing they will work good together 
it has it, it does feel smooth but it kind of dries a little fast i feel like i don't know i can't spread it out very good so now i'm gonna apply my foundation with the beauty blender i hope it oxidizes I hope it changes color though because it's a little too light for me or else I'm just going to have to make it work with like the bronzer. And even though it says medium buildable, it, it kind of looks full coverage. I don't know if it's the color and it's completely like covering up redness and stuff, but it looks pretty full coverage. Maybe I need like a shade warmer. Not deeper, but warmer because this one's a little, a little cool toned. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I really like this concealer. It's a very, very full coverage. It's very creamy. It doesn't feel dry on my under eyes. And I do have a full video on this. If you want to see it, it's on the little eye button up there. I am going to set it. I'm actually going to put my CoverGirl powder. And I'm going to use it... I guess I'll do like a little bit of baking. I'll use it with the Beauty Blender. I'll go ahead and set my foundation using the same powder. That looks really full coverage now. Now with the powder, because the powder is not like completely translucent, it has a little bit of color to it. So with the powder and the foundation, it looks like a really full coverage foundation, right? It looks pretty nice. It's like all even. Okay, so now I'm going to do some contouring. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And they actually changed the name of this. I don't know the name of it now. Something like... I don't know the name of it now, but it used to be called Dulce de Leche, but now it's different on the Ulta website. It's called something else. And this is a really pretty contour. Look at that. It's already making my foundation look a lot better. And I used to use the powder a lot for baking and just for like a light set, which is also a nice, nice setting powder. I just haven't used it in a while. I'm going to use this brush to kind of blend this out. And then for blush, I'm going to use one of these in here. And I think I'm going to use the pink one today since I've already used the peach one. I'm going to use this one. And I'm also going to apply... No, I don't think I'm going to apply that highlight. This one, which in the video, if you saw my video, I use this shade for bronzer. And it's a highlighter. So no wonder it was like super, super shimmery and i was like oh it's too shimmery for me because it was a highlighter like while i was editing oh wait look what i'm doing i was about to apply it on my forehead while i was editing i was like i have to put a little comment here and this pink one is really 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 shimmery it's like if you apply this one you won't need a highlight i'm still gonna apply one but you don't need it it's really shimmery already and i'm gonna remove the baking powder the foundation looks good. Besides it being very light for me, it looks really good. And I'm gonna try it because, I mean, why not? I'm just gonna try it as a highlight. I know it could be a little, maybe it's a little, you know, off from my shade. It gives like a pink glow. Apply the peach pearl right on top of it, just to kind of mix them. Yeah, it looks a lot better. And I'm gonna use peach pearl, the same one, on my nose up here. Also on my cupid's bow and on my the tip of my nose. My face looks super, super matte because of the foundation and the powder, I guess. The foundation, what does it say? Does it say that it's a matte natural finish? It looks very matte though. Did I apply a lot? Maybe. Let me get my powder brush. <laughs> there, because I applied a lot of a lot of highlight on my nose. And I'm gonna use my contour brush without applying any more product. And just going on the sides of my nose it's not moving my foundation at all the foundation is staying put i don't know if it's all the primers well the two primers that i applied or if it's just a good foundation because it's staying it looks really good sometimes whenever i go back with a powder or with a contour brush just like this and i go like this if the foundation is not going to work for me it's like it moves on that area and it's not moving at all i was thinking of using one of these eyeliners but at the same time, I want to use Red Rock on my lower lash line. I think I'll do the warm orange, which is Starfire. And I'm going to apply this on my waterline. And the first shade that I'm going to use is the gray one that I use in the transition area. And apply that on my lower lash line. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush. This one's the Eye Crease Brush by e.l.f. This color is very pigmented. This one's a nice one. I like the matte. The only one that I'm not too happy with is the blue. Now, now that it's on my eyes, it looks fine. But while I was applying it, I feel like it was like a big mess. I was looking for my big fluffy brush because I need to blend out this outer corner right here. 
But now that I've cleaned it all up and everything, it does look nice. It's just the messy part. And I'm gonna use this tiny brush right here, the JH42, and I'm gonna apply the red shade right here. That one is called Red Rock. Okay, I'm gonna need to spray it too because it's not showing up on my eyes. Why? I've never used a Becca palette. Okay, that looks way better. I don't think I've used a Becca palette besides like a face palette, like their highlighter palettes that they come out with during the holidays. I've used their, I mean their face product. I just got the Skin Love, the one that I've been wearing a lot, the serum, the foundation, that glow stick thing, but never an eyeshadow palette and I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, they're all, all the products have been pretty good, so I was expecting for this to be pretty good too, except that glitter shade. Okay, and I'm gonna take off the fallout because I did get some from that red rock. But overall, it looks pretty. Like, it's showing up. It's just that it has a lot of fallout, and I think it's because it has like chunky glitter in it. I'm gonna apply this white shade on the inner corner and see how that looks. It looks pink, like one of those iridescent type of colors. But at least it's not giving me fallout, and also it's showing up without me having to spray it. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray it just to see the difference better it just looks better and i'm just gonna blend out my inner corner right here a little bit just with the clean it's not clean but it has like the product that i already used and again i got fallout so these eyeshadows are very very powdery and actually i forgot my bronzer it's a shimmery bronzer but i already have a lot of shimmer going on so i'm just gonna use this one this is the elf pressed powder and this one's in the color light beige and it's a matte powder it's not a bronzer but i use it as a bronzer for mascara, I'm going to use the one in this Urban Decay Holiday Kit, and it's the Perversion Mascara. I've used this mascara before, only in like a sample size. And this comes with a setting spray, an eyeliner, which I like already, and then also a primer, which I haven't used in years, pretty much. I think I still have the primer that I used to use, but it's like really old. I'm going to curl my eyelashes first. It looks like a very wet mascara, and the other ones that I have... The CoverGirl, the, the other one, the Maybelline one that I use all the time, the gold one, they're already drying. So I feel like I have to apply so much mascara and then I get little pieces of mascara on my under eyes. So I needed a new one. The other ones are like drying out. It's giving me a lot of volume, not so much length. It's a really wet mascara though, so you have to be careful because it's getting on my, like the top of my eyelid and on my lower lash line. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use this nude one. This one is by Too Faced. It's the Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick. And this one's in the color Disrobed. And I've never used one of these lipsticks, but it does look really pretty. It's part of their Peaches and Cream line, and it has little peaches around. It has little peaches printed on it, and the packaging is nice. Oh, let me take off the lip balm first. I picked it just based off of swatches, so I'm hoping it's a good nude for me. From the swatches, I thought it was going to be more like a brown nude, but it's more of a pink nude. I don't know. I'm also going to take a smaller brush and use this highlight for my brow bone. My camera stopped recording. I don't know how much you saw. But the highlight is my favorite out of the four shades in here. So let me see. From everything, I like the foundation. It does apply nicely. And I feel like it does... It went okay with this one, even though it looked white at first. I feel like it did do a good job priming my face, even though, of course, I also applied the spray. So it could have been both things, but my foundation does look really good. The palette, I'm not too sure of it yet. I'm obviously going to use more shades in here and show you demos in the review video, but I'll have, I'll have a review video on this as well as eye swatches on the palette to show you every single shade. And then the lipstick, it's okay. I'm not too sure about the shade, and I'm not, I'm not sure... If it looks okay. It's kind of like a pink nude. Or maybe it's just with the eye look today. I don't know. And then I do like the mascara. I think once it's dried up a little bit, like just a little bit more, it would be better. I will give you an update on the palette. So far, it's like okay. I just feel like the blue, first of all, the blue has a lot of fallout. And I think it will be better if I use a glitter primer just because... It's kind of creasing, like I can see my skin through it right there. And it has like this purple undertone that I can see the purple instead of blue. But I'll show you a close-up right there so you can see it. I also feel like maybe it needs a darker shade so that way I can have something to deepen up the crease area. But of course, not everybody does that. And so I don't know what was in mind for this palette besides the theme of it. 
Um, I like the colors in here, but I thought the blue was going to be a little bit more creamy, kind of like the ones in the Anastasia palettes or what other palette did I just recently use? I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. Those type of uh, glitters. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, trying new makeup products, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. I feel like I'm not doing anything with my eyes. I'm not rubbing my eyes or anything, and I keep getting more blue fallout, more blue glitter fallout on my eyes. Maybe I won't blink.